rookie Devin Hester is deep. This is John Ryan out of the Canadian Football League. His first NFL punt, a bouncer taken by Hester, and he's dragged down. Ahmad Carroll with a big play. We're losing. We're down. There's only one way to get it done, and I've got to find a guy. I'm going to make the throw. He's not going to take the dump offs. The punt by Ryan. Hester takes it on the run. Watch out here. But a good tackle at the 34. And that is the fourth longest streak in NFL history. Second longest active streak. Ryan's punt. Devin Hester from the 16. Looking for Lane. He's got one. Watch out here. If he gets a couple of blocks, he's gone. Devin Hester, the rookie from Miami. Touchdown. 84-yard punt return for a touchdown by Devin Hester. He got a big block from another rookie, Mark Anderson, and he takes it to the house. Harris with good time, gets a good kick up. Hester waits at the 30. Goes outside, little fake, turns the corner, gets knocked out of bounds. Up at the 40. Watching some tape on these two teams, obviously, coming into this game, is that you know, there are a lot of good players, but good players don't always hustle. And Tommy Harris plays like he thinks he's going to get cut tomorrow. And that's what impresses me more than even the talent. Meanwhile, here's the rookie, Devin Hester, with a good run back to the 32. To see down the field to find the open guy. There's Borman, 66 yards with his last punt. Hester backpedaling to the 30. Running room 40, 50, and out of bounds. They'll start another drive in Buffalo territory. Knocking it down the passes, tipping it. Oh, Mormon and the Bills. Punt it away to Hester. Hester has it at the 40. I would have gotten really upset the way everybody said they had no chance. All they talked about was how bad their defense is going to batter Matt Leonard. That's why the Cardinals are playing like it's this. It's a dangerous punt. It was a line drive. There's a penalty marker down as Devin Hester is brought to the 40-yard line. That's one of those that you can really return quickly. Great Chicago Bear middle linebacker. Devin Hester loved to get his hands on a return and make something happen from the 37. Got a couple of blocks. Has some room. And brought down at the 43-yard line. A very good tackle. He has to just take what the defense is giving him. Almost got to player's kick. Devin Hester from the 18. Greeting box. Devin Hester into the open field. And Hester picks up another block. Devin Hester, the putter to beat. He beat him. Devin Hester all the way. Touchdown, Chicago Bears. It's just incredible. Let me tell you a story about Devin Hester. I'm in the Orange Bowl doing a Thursday night game six or five years ago. It's Louisville against Miami. And Hester idolized Deion Sanders in a game against the Cardinals, very similar to this. He said he wanted to make the big play like his idol, Deion Sanders. He made the punt return, erased a big deficit, put them over the top for the lead. That night, at Deion Sanders watching, heard us mention his name on the broadcast, he reached out to call Devin Hester. Hester, who also plays corner, has struck up a friendship with Deion, and I guarantee you, there's a text message from Deion's phone to Devin's phone right now. Devin Hester back for Andy Lee's punt. It's a short one, and Hester can run. He brought two back already for touchdowns. Great return. Andy Lee, the punter, knocked him out of bounds. If he misses it, the Bears will get the ball at their own 42. Eagles to put it down. Feely's kick. Pressure kick. Not even close. And now Hester, after hesitating, he's going to run it out. And Hester is going to run it out past the 40 in the Giants' territory. He is going to go all the way. Touchdown, Chicago. And no flags. He waits to see what develops. There he is. Nothing. A little fake. And the next thing you know, it's a play that equals the longest play in the history of the National Football League. Heck of a block. Great block. Down the sideline he goes on a missed 52-yard attempt. Devin Hester returning it for Chicago. 
showing that great speed getting to the far sideline and getting it out across Devin Hester who has returned two punts for touchdowns this year and this kick is going to bounce inside the 40 Hester at the 45 here's Devin Hester breaking a couple of tackles only the kicker to beat he can't do it Hester in for the touchdown his third of the year watch the poor tackling in the poor look at this I mean are you kidding me how does this guy end up going all the way for a touchdown keep him on your downfield shoulder wrap the guy up that's unbelievable to have a four on one situation you've got the punt returner four guys on your coverage team standing right there and they can't get him tackled fumble the opening kickoff of the game low kick and Hester at the seven good return by Devin Hester as he brings it out close to the 34 yard line <laughs> Chris Cluey with the kick and Devin Hester gets by one man still on his feet Devin Hester what an exhibition of running off we go from downtown St. Louis Hester from the four Will be stopped as he pushes forward to the 30 yard line. Full field. Here's where Turk's hang time becomes important. Punching to Hester. Another skyscraper. 54 yard kick. Hester made the first man miss. Now in the clear. Devin Hester to the 36 yard line. Let's see what Devin Hester can do with his kick from the 10. Break free in the open. Devin Hester, goodbye. A record fifth return for a touchdown. <laughs> Let's see what he can do with the kickoff. How did you like what you just saw? That's the way you protect Rex Grossman. 94 yards, as we said, fifth return this season, tying the National Football League record set 35 years ago by Ken Houston. Devin Hester in five DBs for the Bears. Bolger swing out Jackson. Hester made the open field tackle, anticipating an onside kick from St. Louis. I would not kick it deep. Great chance for field position. Ten Bears up close here, and they do kick it deep. Back to Devin Hester at the five. Devin Hester with lanes thrown down because of the onside. Takes it 95 yards for his second kickoff return of the night. Touchdown! And an NFL record sixth return of the year. This one 96 yards, and he is unbelievable. Wow. Every time we watch him, he's wow. scoring. Where do you kick it? On kickoffs, you have to kick it out of bounds and give it to him on the 40. Second down. Bull just has deflected. Oh, Devin Hester almost had an interception. <laughs> He's had every other kind of return. There's a penalty marker down back by the offensive line. How about that? If he would have had a fourth different type of return. Go for the hat trick tonight. He could have gone for it. Yeah, I want to see all the different things they're going to do to challenge him this afternoon. Both of these teams are up on their feet to watch Devin Hester return this ball. He'll start from the four, Tony. And Hester passed the 20, the 25, and a terrific return on the opening kickoff by Devin Hester, and Matt Bryant ran him out of bounds. Devin Hester back at the 20. Good punt. Hester at the 19. Look at that speed. And the Bucks grab him, but good field position at the 38-yard line. Longest uh, return has been... 19 yards. Crowd, as Tony mentioned, on their feet, expecting the spectacular. Will it happen here? Devin Hester still on his feet down the sideline, and Devin Hester Ooh. knocks over one of the Tampa Bay players. That's a well designed play by Mike Martz, and the fellows were able to run it perfectly. Devin Hester from the five finds the seam, and then he gets upended. Four wide receivers in. Furry. Excuse me. Kenda rolling away from pressure. The game is going to end on this play as he throws it to the end zone and it's dropped. 
One last drop. Now he's got Mike Williams. Look at the height disadvantage for Hester. Williams goes up right in his hands. And Hester, an inexperienced defensive back, misplayed that. Rainers kick. Fielded by Hester at the 10. Crowd comes alive. And that's why, because you don't know what you're going to get out of Hester. Overall 12 and 9 in his career in the postseason. And his team has tied it here, 7 7. Devin Hester, they kept it away from him the first time. And the Pro Bowler, all pro, shows what he can do, gets an extra hit late, no flag. They've got their home run hitter waiting for it, Devin Hester. Hester able to stay in bounds. Penalty flag is on the field as Hester goes down the sideline. A flag is down. Hester is in for the touchdown. But a flag is down back inside the Chicago 40. During the return, illegal block from behind by the return team. 10 yards, first down. They don't say a number. High snap, Weatherford hauls it in and gets off a of beauty with Devin Hester waiting for it. Starting from inside the 30. Getting some blocks and a nice return out near the 40. But at least they gain some field position. Weatherford punts it. Hester waits for it. Six return touchdowns this year for Devin Hester. And the Colts have had a hard time all season covering kicks. It's Hester trying to work it back to the middle. Gets past the first wave, and here he goes. It's Hester inside the 30. Hester's going to take it all the way for a touchdown. And no flag, 92 yards. Directional kick outside the numbers. They've got him. But what happens when you're so worried about Devin Hester, you don't attack. In most kickoff teams, they attack. So they're catching, and when you're catching the blocks, all of a sudden, you cannot react. And Devin Hester finally goes, look, there's a big opening. He takes it, and he just outruns everybody. Now we got great field position for the rest, rest of, of the game. game. Rest of the game. Great field position. They're not going to kick it to him again. What will the coach do with Devin Hester? Standing back there already having returned the opening kick for a score. Look what they do. Look how this influences the strategy. They'll have this ball near the 40. But the ball is out. And it's still down on the ground. And it looks like the Colts may have it. It's volatile so far. Try to settle it down. Ball's gone. And Smith trying to bury it inside the 10. Colts chasing after it. And they will, in fact, down it. And they're going to go ahead and kick it deep. And Hester is not back there. It's Rashid Davis. And he is wrapped up by Dexter Reed. And Sparrow producing. Mike Arnold directing for us tonight. And there's the short kick. Again, keeping it out of the hands of Hester. And it's Adrian Peterson. And as always at the Super Bowl, they've won one play, the Bears, in the last 55 -0 minutes. And that's Gilmore picking up the short kick. In five red zone possessions, inside the 20 that would be, only one touchdown. And again trying to play keep away from Hester, sets up the Bears outside of the 40 and a flag on the back end of it. That was John Gilmore running with it. Mike Smith, and to angle this one, does a good job of that, but the ball bounces in for the touchback. Nate Caney gets it up to kick it away. And here is Devin Hester. Return man extraordinaire from his own two yard line. Trips over the 15 yard line and goes down at about the 19. Wow, what a difference a week makes. <laughs> Devin Hester is good luck. This is Hester from the two. To the 25. And out to about the 35 yard line where Troy Palomalu made the stop. Just over nine and a half to play in the third, and the dangerous Devin Hester on the receiving end of this kick from the two. 
Breaks it to the outside, turns the corner, and out of bounds at the 25. You got a story when he throws a ball, it's not a spot. Hester from the one. The guy who can get you back in the game in a hurry. Still dancing. To the 20. And out of bounds at the 25. Mormon gets it away, and here is Hester back all the way up inside his 20 to the 15. A little blocking on the near side. 35. 40. Still on his feet, and look at him go. To the 30. Finally tackled inside the 25. What an unbelievable return, man, Devin Hester is. It's not it, it's his vision. He's not looking at one or two guys in front of him. He's looking down the field. This little thought here. Oh, let me fake that. Troy Polamalu goes for it. You know, this was a 60-yard return, but it feels like he ran about 110. That's where every kid goes in their backyard. They try returns like this. He does it at the pro level. Or plus a five turnover game in Super Bowl 41. It has been crippling to their desires here today in San Diego as Devin Hester tries to give Chicago a little life. All right, maybe Colquitt can make up for that last punt that went out to the 20 on the touchback. And it's a good one, all right. From the nine, Hester. And that's Derek Johnson. That's now three consecutive three and outs for Kansas City. They had a couple of first downs on their first drive, taking the opening kick out to about the 45, but nothing since. As Hester now has a break. Here comes Hester inside the 50 and down the sidelines and the burst, and he is gone. 73 yards, Devin Hester. And Hester did this seven times last year, returns and all. Look at Colquitt. And he just gets shoved to the side. And Devin Hester electrifies them once again at Soldier Field. Hester, he's got a chance to get a little running start. There he goes. Hester to the 30. One more move to the outside, and he's down at the 19. Wow. Three times they've tried to get it to different guys. Devin Hester and Aguirre Wolf in all three plays have been bad. They all backfired, particularly the last one. Here's Hester. Hester's free again. Here comes Hester down the sidelines. He's got one man chasing him, and Hester is gone again. There is a flag. There is a flag. And it's coming back. Lovey Smith's first ever draft pick in Chicago. Tommy Harris with the sack. Any more theatrics on the way from Hester? Able to shake off one. Oh, boy. Now looking for another angle on the sideline and mix. Now at New Orleans. And here's Tony as the Cowboy quarterback. Hester will take it at the seven yard line. Yet to get on track tonight. And the ever dangerous Devin Hester is back deep for the Bears. Kicking it right at Hester at the 30. He's <laughs> got block. And Devin Hester in Lion territory loses the ball. And it goes out of bounds, so it will still be Chicago ball. You never know what you're going to get in a game. A lot of people expected a, a high-scoring mm -hmm. affair here. Here's Hester from the 20. Now Hester brings it up close to the 40-yard line. He returned to punt 73 yards. Defensive pass rush of the Bears away. And that was what happened last year with the Eagles last week when they had problems in the secondary. Hester. Turns it on. Ooh. And tripped up. Here's Devin Hester.
Hester goes all the way for a 97-yard kickoff return touchdown. He's going to take this over here, try to pick up a couple blockers. But when he makes this cut, bam. Now, that's the gear you're talking about. Hanson has no shot. Now, can he stay in bounds? Brandon Middleton has got to get him down there. Trip him, grab him, do something. What a spark and what a lift. Hester returned it the last time. And Devin Hester again. Taken to the outside. This man is amazing. Fumble. And it goes out of bounds. And Chicago should have it as uh, no one had control as it went out of bounds. Yeah, he depleted Collins. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. They're going to run Hester on an end around. And Collins can't make the tackle there, but he's able to slow him up enough that Hester goes down. Play cover two. Clifton moved inside, and Anderson had a free run. They're going to kick to Hester, who gets backed up and fields it above his head at the nine yard line. And here goes Hester back up to the 20 yard line. And you know what Hester has done in his career. He has eight career return touchdowns. Tied with the great Gale Sayers for the most in team history. This crowd is revved up and here's the opening kickoff and Hester from the four. And the Vikings corral him. And Cluey again putting away from Hester who makes the grab at the 10. Unbelievable. 89 yards. You saw nothing but white jerseys trapping him. He got away. This move right. Whoop. He is the spark plug to this football team. And that is the ninth career return touchdown for Devin Hester breaking Gale Sayers record for the most in team history. Brian Longwell kicking to Devin Hester. Let's see how the Bears respond here. Hester already has returned a punt for a touchdown. And Hester brings it out to the 30-yard line. And it was Charles Gordon from behind. Remember, the Bears need a touchdown. A field goal is not enough. And there is Greasy going down to Devin Hester. He's got it! Devin Hester goes in for the touchdown. Unbelievable. It's 81 yards and they're loving it here in Chicago and Devin Hester lined up to the bottom bobbling the snap and here is Hester and he gets a first down and that's how hard he is to bring down this and a no huddle and this pass caught and that's Hester on the reception second and ten and the pass up the middle, and it's caught by Hester. Devin Hester brought down by Lito Shepard at the 15. Look at the alignment. I'd be surprised they didn't pooch it up in the air here. Line drive. There it is. Bouncing around. Chased down by Rasheed Davis. He lets Hester take it, and there goes Devin Hester. Looking to get a block. He's shoved back. He's still on his feet. Wow. <laughs> he is unstoppable. With a punt. Let's it fly, and Hester's got a chance to bring it back from the 35. Here he goes. Hester's still going and brought down at the Lions 25. Everybody out, Greasy with time. Now rolls, throwing back across to Hester. And they've got him. But Hester finds a way to get open. It's a big first down for the Bears. Can't dance around and change directions and cross fields. He just got to catch it and go. Big punt. That'll back Hester up to the 11. And there goes Devin Hester. Flag is down on the field. Hester gets a block and he's tackled at the 27, but this whole thing may be coming back. During the kick, holding by the receiving team number 94. Pro Bowl returner Devin Hester on to return the ground ball kickoff from Josh Brown. A chance at a return. Hester finds a crack in the coverage unit and is pushed out of bounds by the kicker. Well, a couple of offense that had struggled running the football through 10 weeks of the season. 
have found their ground attacks today. Here's Devin Hester across the 30. And so Devin Hester will try to answer for visiting Chicago. And that one's headed to Oregon. Hester makes the return start at the goal line. Oh, there he goes. And it's Josh Brown that takes him down <laughs> WWE style. <laughs> to play multiple quarterbacks don't do very well. I understand. It didn't work out for him. Devin Hester begins the return at the 10. He gets through the pack and is taken out of bounds just shy of the 40 yard line. Devin Hester has the fans fired up. He stands at his own five yard line. Sauerbrunn advances and we're underway. Hester from the five. Across the 25 and down at about the 28. Look at a chance here from the 25. 40. Here he goes. Cuts it back and he is gone. 10 5. Touchdown, Devin Hester. He fields this directly in the center of the team, gets a good block. And then it's what Devin Hester does. Sauerbrunn just slipped and fell, and Hester hurdles him. Yeah, you do. Devin Hester from the 12. 30. I don't get it. 40. I don't get it. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I don't get Sauerbrunn kicking it again right down the middle of the field. 88 yards. Are your memories that short? It wasn't that long ago. He ran a punt back for a touchdown. I think right there, a Bronco might, might have gotten a finger on an ankle. Other than that, Devin Hester goes right through the coverage. Derek Frost will pump this one again, aiming for the near sideline. Hester will get a chance to return it from his own 40. Hester looking for room, not finding much in Paul Brown. Greasy completes to Hester. Look out. Hester. He's gone. Greasy to Hester again. And Hester crossing the Redskin 40 to the 38-yard line. Give Barry at a gain of four. Second and six for the Bears. Greasy completing to Hester once again inside the 20. Hester is manned up with Torrance at the top of your screen. He's looking Hester's way. Hester going for the pylon. They're calling him out of bounds at the one yard line. They weren't good with a first or second step. Yeah, I was going to say that was their first right. or second last week. Right. Into the hands of Hester. One of the few playmakers going to try to run around the world here. Hester picked up a block. Got to the 40. A lot of running. And Orton throws the slant to Hester complete. Quarterback's got to get rid of the football. He didn't have a chance. Good snap this time. They kick to Hester, and here's Devin at the 33. Hesitating, setting up, waiting for a place to get through a seam. Got a block on the edge. Hester keeping it going. Can he cut back to the middle? Oh, nice job by the Vikings to stop him at midfield. He hasn't played in 100 weeks. Pressure got rid of it to Hester who catches it at the 45. It'll be a first down. Well, they call it the second city, but I don't think Chicago takes a backseat to anything as Orton, with two minutes remaining, going deep for Hester, makes the catch and scores! 55 yards, and you knew sooner or later the swift Devin Hester would get open. Hester. Listen to the anticipation of this crowd. Hester at the 40, and Hester is gonna go all the way. No flags are down. Devin Hester. A punt return touchdown, 64 yards. Dick, you said it. There was a hush in the audience, like, here he go, here he go, he can't go, and he's gone. I mean, you just hold your breath, Sean Payton said we can't kick to this guy today. They have, and they now just paid for it.